Welcome back, Odooers. We've already gone over how to manage registrations with Odoo Seamlessly Automated's functionalities. But now, it's time to see how to handle our attendees with barcode scanners. You know, for when they show up to an event. Now, as I'm sure you already know, barcodes are incredibly efficient. We point, we click, they're scanned in. Now, their simple, speedy effectiveness makes checking into an event easier than ever before. Now, what's really cool about Odoo Events is that this super useful functionality is ready to go right out of the box pretty awesome right now as i always say enough chit chat let's jump into our stealthywood database to see how easy it is to use barcodes with odoo events hello doers and so here we are on our main events dashboard now the very first thing we want to do is jump into our settings before we get started by going up to configurations selecting settings and from here, you want to make sure that the barcode setting down here is actually checked off. Why? Because if you don't, you won't have barcodes on your tickets. And that makes it a little bit less easy to deal with. Now, once that you finish that, you want to hit save. And in our case, we already had it activated, so we don't need to do that. So once that we're done, we're actually going to head back to our events. And we got to go into the interior design conference. Now, once that we're here, let's do a little bit of a test. So we're actually going to select our attendees. And once that we're inside, we see a full list of our confirmed, unconfirmed attendees. Now, if we select any of these records, for instance, the very legitimate John with a test email, you'll notice we have a few options. Now, we can actually send their event badge by email just by selecting send by email up here. And when we click it, it gives us the option to send it directly to the followers of the document and John in this case from his contact card. We can also add additional email in the event that, you know, some customer wanted that. Now, in our case, you'll see that we get this very nice email and a foldable PDF because PDFs make life easy. Now, this badge that we see here, by the way, is the badge that they will present at an event. You can click it to download it just to see what it looks like. And in our case, we're actually going to cancel out of this, but you would just hit the send button and then they would receive it as an email. And that email would look something like this over here that we see in the chatter. And now we actually can click on that. And as you'll notice, we get this very beautiful badge. Now this badge is the badge that our attendee will receive in their inbox. Then when they show up to the event with the same badge, we'll use a mobile computer scanner like this one just to scan them in and let them enter our event. And that officially checks them in, grants them access, makes them feel important. It really is that simple. Now, it should be noted, however, that employees must be logged into the Odoo database on their mobile scanner device in order for this to work properly. If we were using a USB barcode reader, for example, we actually just have to connect the USB scanner to a laptop. And that laptop also has to be logged into the Odoo database. And we also have to make sure that the USB scanner is compatible with our keyboard layout. And you're probably asking, how do I do that, Jose? Well, to do that, We'd scan the appropriate keyboard country barcode. Now, these codes can be found in the Odoo user documentation for easy reference as well. Now, let's take a look at something else. In this case, let's get out of here. Let's go back over to interior design using delicious breadcrumbs. And we're going to go into our registration desk. It's a very clean page as well. Now, you'll notice here, and it should be noted, we have two options. We can either scan a badge or we can manually select an attendee in here. Now, in our case, what are we going to do? Well, actually, we're going to do a quick test. So let's see what this would look like. Now, on my mobile device, and follow me here, Odoers, I am a somebody who's bought a basic package ticket, like more bang for my buck. I've got the ticket on my phone. So what do I do? Well, actually, that's all I have to do. And you'll notice it seamlessly scanned me right there. If I have a barcode to scan, I select scan a badge. But I didn't even have to do that here. I actually just scanned the person. Now, once that they do that, you'll notice we have a few options. We could view stuff. We could print. We can also close this out. Now, if we actually select something like view, it takes us directly back over here. And it allows us to see that the person has actually been marked as something else. Now, if we go back over to our conference, we can actually do a different option here if we go back into registration desk. And we can actually select an attendee here. Now, if we click this, you'll see we can see our attendees as well. Now, in most instances, in the event that, you know, a barcode scanner battery died, it's wireless or anything, we can actually confirm attendance by selecting right here with this little button. Let's assume that John E. is now attending. 
We just did that, and you'll notice he was confirmed, and he's attending, and the name has actually changed there. You can actually see that this actually does it almost instantaneously. Now, another thing we can also do is we can actually click on a person's name, like John E., and you'll notice that somebody was actually changed from confirmed over here to attended. And isn't that seamless? And that's how we manually check them in as well. Now, after their status changes, you'll be noted with it if you go back over here to attendees. You'll notice that the filter allows you to see people who are confirmed, unconfirmed, or attended as well, in this case. And only Johnny appears. That's pretty seamless, and it doesn't get much easier than that. There you have it, Odooers. That's how you can use barcodes to keep track of your event attendees with Odoo. The next lesson, we'll take a deep dive into event templates. So stay tuned. That's all for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.